Hi, Peter Stoll, clarinetist in Toronto, Canada here. I just want to talk to you about subtones for a moment. It's a very cool effect. Uh, I think it probably originally started in jazz um, and that clarinet and saxophone both uh, seem to be able to do, which is simply playing extremely softly. In fact, to the point where you, you almost can't hear the sound. So it's a little different than say, what an orchestral first clarinet player would do in a Tchaikovsky symphony. That's written three pianos to start, but you know, you, you, I was just talking the other day at a, the principal clarinetist in the Vancouver Symphony doing a, a presentation for some of my students at U of T, the university here in Toronto. And, you know, I asked her about that solo and she said, yeah, I mean, there's a limit. You have to actually hear it, right, and project it out. Subtone is like just the ghost sound of playing. And the clarinet's good at this. I don't know how much you can even hear of that. <laughs> I don't know how to see how much that came through on the video, but as you can see, you can you can hear pitch and you can do this slow or fast, high or low. So I wouldn't do extreme altissimo. I don't know how I do subtone high C. Now you see you start to hear sound there. It's a little hard to control, but like up to a C, up to an F. Uh, up to a high G is, is certainly possible uh, on the clarinet. You would just write this as subtone or, you know, you put in six P's and the player will get the idea. Some people have used whited out note heads so they don't fill in the note head, but that could get confusing if it's a longer note, like a half note. So, you know, usually if you just say subtone and you put, you know, four or five or six pianos, we'll get it. Same thing on the bass. The bass is quite flexible this way. Probably the same thing up to a, a high G is, is possible here. I wonder if you can play the Mozart concerto like this. Not oh, getting silly and then you're hearing some actual sound, but that's kind of for fun. One other possibility, by the way, is to go really subtoned, to go below actual sound. Like I'm still blowing and making a kind of sound with that. Um, and a composer friend of mine, uh, uh, an indigenous uh, Canadian composer, she she will write, uh, Barbara Crowell is her name, and she will write uh, where you're just getting the pitch sound of like key clicks. So. But that's more of a key click thing. So I think for me, subtone actually involves blowing through the clarinet and making those really cool, super soft sounds. And that's a thing we do really well all over the range of the instrument. I'd say up to about that high G uh, on both bass and clarinet.